Well, what's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I have what I'm hoping is to be an exciting and educational video for you today. The Samsung Galaxy S6 does not have a removable storage option. So this video is going to show you that a micro SD card doesn't, isn't necessarily mandatory. Now the Note 4 does have a removable storage option. And before I go into this, look at that. My battery, my battery, it's kind of low. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and fully charge this battery in just a couple of seconds here if you don't mind me doing so real quick in this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out the uh, almost dead battery, put the fully charged battery in. There's that micro SD card that's in the Note 4. And then we're gonna go ahead and power the phone on and we're going to have a full battery. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start charging up the battery that was almost dead. That way it can be fully charged before this one's dead. All right, boom, look at that, 100% battery, very nice. Okay, so that'll make this a little bit easier, won't worry about our phone dying during this presentation. <laughs> um, so the micro SD card, there is no micro SD card. That's gonna be a big bummer for some people. For me, it's not that big of a deal. I actually have several options for you guys today. Personally, myself, one of my favorite options is this one right here on my keychain here. I've got this little thing. I can just pull out my little micro SD card adapter and I can plug it into the bottom of my phone here and it will give me an option that says USB connector connected and it will open up my file browser and I can see all the Titanium backups, the G apps, the signage my 12 updates, like nightlies and stuff that I put on there. And then I can go ahead and copy that over to my internal storage. I can flash it directly from uh, custom recovery since this is rooted with custom recovery installed and this one will be very soon. So I don't have to necessarily worry about having a micro SD card. So you'll see like uh, all my Titanium backup stuff's in here. If I eject this real quick by tapping USB mass storage, it will eject it and say it can be safely removed. And when I plug it into the bottom of the S6, it should do the same exact thing. I don't know why Samsung would do anything different. Boom, look at that, my files. And look, Titanium Backup Nexus 6. I can go in there and start restoring stuff from this and I don't have to have my Titanium Backup backups on the internal storage taking up that 32 gigs, or if you got like the 64 gig option, I mean, whatever option you got, you can still put them on a micro SD card. And you can get micro SD cards in access of 128 gigs. So you can store so much stuff on these little guys. And a lot of these options are pretty good. Like, let's bring this, look, we got a white one here, the same thing. I can pop this 128 gig micro SD card in there. I'll go ahead and Safely eject this real quick. Should be the same thing. Mass storage can be removed. All right, and we're gonna take this and we're gonna give our phone an additional 128 gigs. So let's see what's on here, if there's anything at all. All right, boom, look at that. We got Twerp, we got the G apps, we've got Signage 111, we've got some other stuff here. We got pictures. Dude, see, look, you don't have to have that or right, let's go to the my files app real quick before we go on to another part now we just gotta find files all right samsung my files all right look at this usb storage uh where are the options that tell you like uh where the okay it doesn't tell you how much storage is available more show hidden files all right but you can access that little flash drive there and there's other options but I really like this option because look, there's a little blue light there and I like it when there's a little light that lets you know there's activity going on and a file is successfully being transferred and etc. So that's an option, 128 gigs right there and that's going on your keychain and you can transfer one file from your S6 to the computer or your friend's S6. The biggest downfall about this little guy right here is the fact that you have to have a little adapter. So like you gotta put it in there. I'll show you with, um, I'll show you this as an example. So you've got to hook this into here. You gotta bring this with you. Personally, I keep this in my wallet. It's so small. I don't really notice it's in my wallet. And then I just plug it into here. I plug it into the computer and I transfer my files back and forth. Now that's an extra step, but the benefit to this is that the size is a lot smaller then you other options out there. Options like these hang out of your phone a lot, while options like this 
is very small. Their older version here is even more compact and fits in there. It's even smaller footprint. But you can't buy the older version anymore, so that's why I'm only showing you the newer version. Now, these make you provide your own micro SD card. So I've got a little 32 gig in this one at the moment. And like you saw me put the 128 gig in here. This option right here, the newest one from Patriot, is actually a two-in-one. So you plug it into the bottom of your phone, and then you just plug the other end into your computer, and you don't have to carry around a separate little adapter. And there's like a little hole there, so you can stick it on your key ring and ha have these files everywhere you go. So I'm just waiting on my files to pop up here, and look at that. There's a file that I transferred from my Note 4's micro SD card to this flash drive, and now I'm able to view this video on this phone here. So this is a really cool option. There's also other options. So you can do one here from Kingston. This is a neat little guy. Very tiny, no footprint at all, itty bitty. The biggest problem with this is if you're using a case, I've found that it's so wide that it won't fit in there very well. You have to take your case off to use it. This is a very lightweight case, so it's going to work just fine. We're just waiting on it to show the My Files app. And then there we go. I can access all the files. Like, we've got a video there. Actually, my internet was crapping out, so I put my video on this 64 gig drive right here. This, these have built-in memory. This one has built-in memory. This one has built-in memory, and this one has built-in memory. So you have to choose whether you want like a 16 gig, a 32 gig, or a 64 gig option. The nice thing about these right here is that you can get your own micro SD card and expand them to as high as you want them to. And if you have many little micro SD, I'm going to show you this one in a second, but if you have many little micro SD cards laying around, you can hot swap them and you just need one little adapter. Now this company is Minova, M-E-E-N-O-V-A. But this one from Kingston works just fine. There's all my files and videos in my titanium backup folder with all my backups on it. And again, I mean, I can take those backups and say I want to back it up on here real quick. I can tell it to go to this little guy. And on this phone, I can plug it in and I can restore that same exact file. So my progress in Dragonfly or uh, my accounts in Plume or something, like all those can be backed up and restored. So this one right here is probably one of the cheapest options. You can only put 32 gigs maximum, so that's its probably its biggest downfall, but it's only $9.99 on Amazon. This is a little two-in-one device as well. You plug this in into the bottom of your phone, and it has a little light to let you know there's activity going on, which is very nice. And then I can see the stuff that's on the USB storage. And again, I can take stuff, like say I recorded a 4K video with this phone's camera, I can take that and move it over to this little guy right here. And then I can take that and plug it into my computer. Because this end goes into your computer right here. And then there's the little micro C card on this side. So this is the cheapest option and it works very well. And it has an indicator light, which is a plus. This one does not have an indicator light and it has built in storage. This one does not have an indicator light and it has built in storage. These are all USB 3.0 as well. These options right here. These are all USB 3.0. They have the blue tips at the bottom there, if you can see that. So let me get all these in the same shot. So there's, all these are USB 3.0. So these are really good drives. This one's probably one of my favorites because it's so cool. You flip it out like that to go to your phone. You flip it out like that to go to your computer. And it has a little indicator light on it so you can see the file transfer like what's going on with your drive it's taking it a second i don't know what's causing it to do that oh uh, it says damaged usb storage <laughs> i don't know so there's several different storage options if you're concerned about your s6 not having a micro sd card slot truly it's not the end of the world i'm gonna go ahead and put this back on my keychain so that i don't accidentally not Forget it, and then I'm like, oh, I can't transfer a large file from my phone to your phone. So you've got that, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this. <laughs> and then we've got this older one right here. <laughs> I will have a link to each of these in the description. This one's probably the cheapest. 
Again, I like the fact that it has a SD card light, and if you have micro SD cards from older phones, and this phone can't hold that micro SD card, you can put it in there. Its downfall is that it's only 32 gigs tops, like that's the max you can do. This option is a really good option. These are like $12.99 on their website, and there is a little LED indicator light at the bottom of it. That's kind of dim on the newer versions, but you can still see it. And you can put your own micro SD card in there up to 128 gigs, like I showed you. 128 gigs on your keychain. That's just kind of unreal. This one has is USB 3.0 with built-in storage and no SD card light. This one has an SD card light, or this one has an SD status light, built-in storage. And then this one has no light, built-in storage. So you can choose which one suits your need better. If you have micro SD cards laying around, I definitely recommend getting you know, one of these two options. If you want built-in storage, you don't want to worry about an SD card, get one of these options right here. That's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Again, I'll have a link to each of these in the description, as well as videos to these products. This one does work. It's been working just fine for a long time now. In fact, let me go ahead and reboot this thing into custom recovery here. All right, our phone's rebooting into custom recovery. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the bottom here. And Twerp should be able to access the files because it doesn't care what file format it is. So I'll change it to USB storage. And look at that. See, it detects that it's 48 gigs available, almost 49. So, And there's all the files that are on my flash drive right here. I did buy the Marshall Mallers LPCD. I moved over to my you know, SD card so I can quickly you know, <laughs> uh, listen to the music on my phone. Uh, also, I plug this into my PS4 sometimes since this is a normal USB 3.0 connection. And I back up my game saves to this little guy right here. So it's pretty cool. You don't have to necessarily use these just for phones. You can use them, them for other things as well. And as you're seeing right here, this does work. I don't know why it was saying damage storage device or something like that. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. The like button's to the bottom right, I believe, of the video player. If your YouTube account is linked with your social media account, it'll post to your social media that you liked the video, and then your friends and followers will see that you liked it, and you know more people will know about this solution that think that the S S6 is without a micro SD card is not equal to other phones. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.